Hello and welcome to a bit of a different video today. I'm going to be reviewing uh, ramen, which I've kind of meant to do for a while actually because I do loads of those snack box unboxings but never actually get around to reviewing the food. So I thought I would do it in a very YouTube-esque way with face cam instead of just my beautiful, beautiful hands. But I'm going to do it slightly differently. I'm not just going to review it on my own. Instead, I brought a friend along. Ah! Oh, hey Dan. Um, hey. Right, so, uh, today, as you can probably tell from the YouTube description and everything, I don't really need to explain this, we're doing the hot chicken ramen things. Shit, where are they? Ah! Jesus Christ, I hate this technology. We have to go back to normal. I'm, I'm not... Oh, I hate them when that happens. I wish that was editing. I really wish that was editing. This isn't an issue, Red. I, we need to sort it out. There's something wrong with this house. Please get me. Right, so as mentioned, this is the Hot Chicken Flavour Ramen by... Where is it? Sam Young. Uh, Sam Yang. Now, I've not actually tried any ramen by Sam Young before. I've tried Nissin, um, and obviously I've tried... Uh, sorry about that, I completely forgot the name. Um, Nong Shim as well, so I've tried those ones. This is a bit different. The reason I wanted to try this, um, and Dan and I both went to Chinatown in London recently, is because I've heard this is incredibly hot. Now, we have once tried this. Um, it happened again. Um, so this is Shin we to, Sorry, we need to get Derek Jacoby in. You've, you've probably seen this uh, before if you're into ramen. It's kind of the standard thing. Apparently in America you can actually buy these just in supermarkets, which sounds like heaven. Um, but yeah, we've both tried this. This is incredibly hot. But manageable. Like, yeah, no, honestly, it, uh, anyone. It's well. deliciously hot. It does burn your tongue, but not so much so you're like, I can't finish this. You're more like, I want more. The first thing, the fir actually, the first time we ever tried it was our field day in last year, 2017. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. And we, you know, we were stumbling back. We hadn't eaten anything for about six, seven hours. We'd go into gig after gig after gig, and we just needed something to eat. So we're like, hey, let's try this. Um, and. We were just blown away, honestly, like... It was a bit of an interesting... Anyway, the review's not about that. It's actually going to be about these things. So, we've got our trust... Where did that go again? <laughs> this has to start! <laughs> so, we're going to um, peel it open. But first, here's an up-close look at the noodle things, because this isn't in very much detail from the uh, distance. So, here's a close-up. Alright, so this is the uh, close-up of the hot chicken ramen. Um, it's not much to go by, really. It's very black, it's very flame-embossed, as you can see. That's the cooking instructions, if anyone's actually interested. It's just the pretty usual thing. Um, four minutes, pour out the water, put in the sauce. And I assume the sauce is where the heat is going to come from. I think the like little sachet things probably got you know, powder and stuff, and then the sauce is what gives it a kick. It looks pretty intense. I've heard interesting things online. I hope to God this is actually the ramen that I've heard of online. I This could be completely wrong. This might be the mildest hot chicken thing I've ever eaten. Uh, not to be confused with that Pokemon curry I once ordered. It was apparently spicy and had no kick to it. Anyway, um, we're going to go open it up and prepare it and stuff, so... Uh, prepare for a jump cut. Hey, there we are. That was uh, a look at the noodles. So, we're going to rip it open. Uh, we will obviously jump cut part of this because we've got a four minute waiting time. Uh, however, inside... Oh, red. Um, how do you roll? It's okay. We'll, 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 ah, I got it, I got it. We'll sort it out in post. So, we've got... That looks intense. This is some Wait, kind of powder. Where is it? Uh, no, don't take the lid fully off. Oh, it doesn't matter. Um, so, it comes with the powder, and it also comes with a sauce. Now, I know you can't usually tell the, the spiciness or something through your fingers, but I can tell by feeling this, this is probably going to kick my ass. So, That's oh, good. actually, what is it? The smell through the packet is pretty intense. So, the. Uh, there we are, take a good hit of that. A really good hit of the spice. So the instructions say to add this powder to that, fill it up to the line, leave okay. it for a minute, empty all the water out, and then add this sauce. But what, what is this, though? 
This is some kind of powder. If if anyone at home can read uh, Korean, well, Korean. I don't know. It might be Korean. I uh, usually most ramen producers are Korean. Okay. So we're gonna add some. No, oh, that actually doesn't smell that spicy. This smells like um, it's maybe some kind of pepper or something, or um, some seasoning. It looks like seaweed. It might be. It might be seaweed. I'm up for that. I love seaweed. Um, so right. Next step, no, no, don't add All the right. sauce. I'll okay. add the sauce at the end. Next step is the water. We're going to play this in a weird colour with some really intense music over it. Okay, we're back. It's been four minutes. Uh, we've drained all the water from the things. So now we're just time to tear into this mystery sauce. Yay. All right, we're back. Dan did not need the scissors, he did it all himself, but it was a jump cut anyway. So, next step is to stir it in. Jesus Christ, everything is turning incredibly red and demonic. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, the, the smell's coming through now. This is going to be pretty spicy, I think. Well, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this. So, unfortunately, we don't have two cameras, so we can't really have some... Multi-angled action shots or anything. Oh, actually, there we go. However, it does look pretty fucking red. Nice. Now, there is, of course, one more step before I eat this. What do you mean? What more can we do? I'll show you what I can do. There we go. Yet again, this just appeared on me. I'm not. I'm not comfortable with staying in this place. Once these noodles are done, we are burning this place down. What well, you could say, mate, they. The guys, no, the ghosts. The ghosts here. have good taste. They have good taste. Yeah, fair play. So, um, I think we've stirred it enough, to be honest. Okay. Ooh. Right, here we go. Right. Are you ready? So, the things I'm going to look out for while tasting this is the hotness and the chickenness because... Yeah, it was it? Hot chicken flavour. Hot chicken flavour. I have a feeling this is just going to be hot flavour. Not hot chicken, but I could be wrong. Okay, here we go. So, let's try. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's okay. There, Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. <Come. laughs> that's fine. That is, that's genuinely surprised me. Because, judging from the smell, I thought it would be kind of hot, but my god, the more you eat it, the more the spice kicks in. Ah. There's just like a back of the throat tingle, there's a yeah. tongue tingle. Oh, that's delicious. That is... Mmm. Okay. Oh, in terms, it's kicked in. In terms oh. of spiciness, that does oh. kick shin cup. Oh, oh. yeah. Yeah, shin cup is like... Shin cup's hot in a palatable way. This is hot in a... Oh! Oh, okay, kind of way. Shrink cup is like stepping into a hot bath. This is kind of like Cracker Tower. That's the comparison. Oh. It's akin to soaking into a hot bath <clears throat> and realizing your testicles are resting on heated stones. It's <laughs> like at first it doesn't really. And you don't really notice it, but then all of a sudden, a few seconds later, you're like, oh, oh, my boy is a sizzling. And then, oh, it's really nice, though. It is nice, though. It's not, like, there's a kick. There's a huge kick to it. My only criticism of this, actually, is I've taken three bites, and I've eaten about half of it. There is not as much ramen in here as I'd have thought, but then, at this spiciness level... I can understand why they do that, actually. I, I, the thing is, oh. we drained the whole thing. I reckon it would have been nice with a bit of liquid. It might have been. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. now the spice is kicking in for me. Oh, oh. that is that is good spice. Mind the you, um, sixth member of the Spice Girls, good spice. Mind you, on the front they got pictures of, what was it, like, is that spring onion? Or like, um, what's that, what's, is it like kimchi? It might be kimchi. It's... Because I don't see any of the kimchi in there. Not to be a, one of those guys, but... Yeah. 
Oh, oh, I find the more you breathe, the more... As you eat it, it's really pleasant. There's a bit of a spicy kick to it. And you're like, oh, yeah, th this isn't bad. And once it mixes with your saliva, it gets hotter, and then it spreads around your entire mouth. Oh, oh my god. <clears throat> my nose is actually running, so... <laughs> oh, ah, oh. oh. Oh, that is... Oh, wow. This happened. <sighs> Tears. Tears. Oh, mm. that is... Okay. <coughs> well, at the start of the video, uh, as whoever the fuck is still watching this can attest, I thought this was going to be kind of spicy. I was like, I was hoping I did even pick up the right ramen. I can now honestly say I did. Oh my god. Have you finished that? No, not yet. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good stuff. Definitely buy it if you like spicy stuff. <laughs> Avoid the fuck out of it if you can't handle spicy stuff. Because my tongue is going a little bit numb. My mouth is just salivating everywhere. Oh, I can see through time just a little bit. Everyone's aura is coming around. We'll make it through. I can taste December. We'll make it through. So that was the hot chicken ramen. It lives up to its name. That is... My god, that... Whew. Wait, have we got milk? Oh. Yes, but I, I would buy that again. But I would not eat it if you're going out in public the next day. Or if you don't have access to a toilet very near. Oh, my sentence structure sucks. I just can't think of... We got us. We got us. It's okay. Oh, thank you, Dan. Well, that's enough. Oh. Hi. We'll see you in a minute. We're back. That milk has really helped, although... Every time I speak, because oxygen circulates in my mouth, it makes everything hotter. Ah, oh, okay. Oh. So... Now is the time for the review part. We've had a few minutes to have it just eight. Yeah. Oh my god. So, on a scale of one to ten, one being really nasty spiciness, and ten being like, that is good shit, yeah! How would you rate this? Alright. From my experiences with the shin cup, you don't need milk. Yeah. And this. The... You do need milk. I'm going to give this a solid 8.5 or a 10. The spiciness is just on that little level of slightly unpleasant. Slightly unbearable. Slightly. Yeah, it's sort of... We're touching the sands of... The Mojave. Yeah. It's <clears throat> it's not some unpleasant chemical shit. You can tell it's like made with some real extract of whatever is in this. And, well, the fact the cup is incredibly red, I think, says it all, really. Now, I will say one thing. In terms of the chicken front, I couldn't tell it was chicken. I, you, could, I, can, I could barely taste you it. You could have told me that was shrimp, beef, like, vegan. And Armadillo. I, yeah, you know, and I'd have agreed and gone, Yeah, that's fine. I can see my veins. But, yeah. In, in terms of spicy ramen, and I don't, well, I don't think I've eaten anything that's hotter than this. Yet, anyway. Yet. Now, there is something that I haven't told you. I have seen, and I can almost confirm, there is a double spicy version of this. It's like two times spicy or something. What? No. Of the hot chicken. No. So, how can that be? How can there be anything hotter than that? <coughs> I. We we'll have to get it. Unfortunately, we'll have to get it. I haven't seen her any in China or anything. It might be a bit of an import from Japan, but so long as I'm correct in my thing there, 
Do you want to top up? No, I'm alright. I I might actually import the double spicy chicken thing because this has kind of inspired me to do spicy food reviews, really, because I really like spicy things. And like, what well, ramen in general? Yeah, and well, or food in general, I think. So we discussed this off camera, but do expect in future some more ramen reviews because this is a format I really liked. I did try doing a ramen review on my own, however. It didn't turn out that good because I just talked to myself. With two people, it's a lot better. I have my opinion, and he has his. So, that about wraps it up for the hot chicken ramen review. But, there's one extra thing. Now, I have I did warn Dan earlier today that I'd brought something else. It's also from Japan. It's from my Japanese snack box. Okay, okay. I thought something to just mellow us out. A little bonus at the end. So, I have brought... This, which is called Super Sour Lemon. Now, this is, from what I can tell, apparently meant to be incredibly sour. So, I thought, what, what better way to end off an incredibly spicy ramen review than with some incredibly wait, sour Wait, well, have you seen the picture of that? Yeah. Oh, okay, I'll that... put it up to the camera. So you got some guy there who looks like something has gone up his uh, derriere. And then there's a warning sign on it. I can't read it. It's in Korean. Japanese. Japanese. Sorry. Sorry to insult everyone out there. We don't even have British and American viewers. It's fine. There, is, there are no Japanese people watching this. So, <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I mean, potentially. If you are watching this and you're from Japan, like, uh, kudos to you, but also how did you find this channel? Also, I think Nico Nico is bigger up there than uh, YouTube. So we're gonna have one. Oh, there is a strong smell. If you if you want a whiff of that, that's like, oh. that's some sour chemically stuff. Now, I I'm oh, oh okay. So it's one. Basically, these look like mawams. They do. So they can't be that. They can't be that bad. What's it's the one worst each. that could happen? Um, I would suggest taking it all at once. Yeah, I... I, I was going to say maybe take a bite, but no. Okay. Let's see if our faces make the same faces. Alright. This face. Three, two, one. Yeah, so far. Not bad. I'm not getting anything. Oh, oh. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Unless it really picks up. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, okay. There's definitely... Hmm. There's a... There's a kick to that. I'm not going there. Hmm. Yeah, there's... It's coming on in bursts. It's like... I think you just got... Oh! Oh! It's going to... Once it reaches the back of your tongue. There it is. I think the hotness has kind of numbed you. Has numbed the pain. So, Wait. yeah. I mean, but it is. Oh, yeah. It's pretty. Yeah, I am definitely making that face right now. Kudos to them. That is definitely a sour sweet. Um, it's kind of dying off now. Yeah. The flavor. That's pretty good. It, it, a bit of a kick. It kind of like... Yeah, like I think... Uh, after, after a while, it really like comes in and just thrums your mouth. I definitely did. Like, that lemon is sweat in itself, so... Yeah, I I don't sweat out on that. Like, I think the warning symbol may be a little bit extreme. I think that was a bit of hyperbole on their part. But... I can understand why. If you're going to market a sour sweet, you want people to be like, Yo! Kind of like the hot ramen. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a good experience today, I think. Uh, you know, we've... We have experienced possibly the hottest ramen I've tried. Yep. Um, and yeah, overall, I think we've bonded on a spiritual level. Yes. Over the fact that we've both been through this red-tinged noodle hell. And come out the other side without, like, vomiting or shitting ourselves. Yes. That is true. Um, you know, if 
we do have intense bowel movements in the next half an hour. I'm not going to update you because no one, no one cares. Are you, are you sure about that, Red? You know, I mean, dedicated fans might want to know about your bowels. It's you uh, know, every, you know, they want to tweet every moment. That's going to be on my Patreon. If you follow <laughs> me for five dollars a month, you will get all of my bowel movement <laughs> updates every day, filmed live. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, thank you very much for watching and seeing through this. I don't know how long the video is because obviously I'll have to edit and chop down and stuff. But yeah, look forward to more like ramen reviews. More ramen reviews. With... In the future. Yeah. And yeah, so thank you, Dan, yeah, for no being problem. with me today and experiencing this. Uh, and I'll see you again. Bye. Yeah, shit, okay. He's gone. Maybe everything I've just experienced wasn't actually real. Maybe it was. Maybe it was too real. In fact, Dan, are you behind that person watching right now? <laughs>